We understand the place that she's in, that this is a big decision, but we don't have time to wait. We have to move now. Trust us. We have a very short time. We cannot wait. Sometimes the weight of these things are just too much. Nothing can prepare you for these things. My dad has been working in Southeast Asia for many years, and he began to talk to me about trafficking issues that were going on there several years ago. The truth is that I didn't want to do anything about it. I didn't even want to know it was happening. I did agree to research the issue of human trafficking, and whenever I learned what was happening, there was no way I, I couldn't be involved. You know, here, they so different and prostitutes. They from the countryside. They're very clean. And the really sad thing is that oftentimes it's happening to children. Rafa House operates safe houses for underage victims of slavery and sexual exploitation in Southeast Asia. It's a really difficult process. Many of the girls have been put through very extreme situations. The average age of our girls is 12, but we've had little girls come at the age of four. Once they have been abused horrifically in these ways, who they once were goes into hiding. You can still have a great future. If you keep making the choices you're making now, you are going to die. You don't give up. You, you can't stop fighting for these girls. They're worth it. This isn't going to be a three-month, four-month, three-year, four-year fix. I want to feel happy. Sometimes you have to walk with these girls for 10 years. I don't want to feel sad. Victims of human trafficking are so much more than just their trafficking stories. And they have so much to share with the whole world.